I've got headphones on. We're about to go down on some crazy looping lessons right now. Okay, y'all, this is how to do uh, multi-track looping. So uh, we previously did multi-layer looping and there was some like dumb mistakes I used to make. Um, of Obviously, one of the key mistakes, if you watch that video, was spend the money on things that are good for your career in music or whatever you're trying to achieve. And the Looper X is 100% that one. So if you're going to get into uh, multi-track looping or just you just want to get into looping, buy this bad boy. Don't buy the cheap stuff. Um, this thing is going to save you so much time and money. It's not even funny. That all rhymed. It's because I'm a songwriter. Um, wordsmith of the century. Now, um, when we go into this stuff, uh, you need to understand there's a couple of rules of arrangement. Um, and you want to think about like, how you're going to be clever with it and different loopers have different setups now the rc300 i'll have like a full series on that um and so we won't talk about that um but basically the concept of multi-track looping is going to be the same across any style of looper that is similar rc300 600 whatever um the looper x head rush they all have the exact same thing you have up to four tracks the rc300 has three um and each track has its own, uh, basically own loop that's going to be stored on it, and it won't affect the other ones. So it has its own identity. It's like it's in its own house, essentially. Now, when you're looping, the first layer, especially in this mode, I believe it's called sync mode. Uh, it means that like as soon as I lay one loop down, everything is looped to that that loop's time. So. I'm not like gonna randomly loop it, random stuff and it's not gonna go whack and out of time unless I suck at playing my instrument. So typically when you go into multi-track looping, um, you wanna think about the arrangement and the spread. So if I was using an RC, like everyone has their own way of doing it. There's no right way to do this. Um, some people, depending on their style, can choose the, what they wanna do. I'm just gonna show you what I do. So you can use what I do and hopefully it serves you. I personally, when I when I have this, you can literally see the the names of it on the video. I have guitar on the left, bass is track two, beats, beatboxing, guitar smacking is number three, and number four is like my vibes. So that's that's what I mean is like my vocals. It's like brings the vibes. Woo. That's pretty much what I do for that one. Now, if I was on the RC three hundred, because uh, it's only three tracks, I combine the bass and the drums. And then I have the guitar in the middle, and then I have extra stuff on the on the third track, and that'll be like for vocals um, or vocal looping and things like that. Um, but if I'm gigging, I'm pretty much only using the two tracks on the RC300, uh, and I'll explain to you why. So when I go into arranging a song, I'm not looking for uh, I'm looking for the song to have like an emotional drive and and I can connect the different sections in the way I want it to. So typically I will build the loop, I will start playing and then I don't have a loop during the first part of the song and then when I get to the chorus I bring it all in. Now if I want to have the second verse feel a bit stripped down but a bit more energy, I just take all the guitar parts out and then I just like leave the bass and drums and that creates like a really cool vibe. It keeps the harmony moving because we've got the bass that's cueing where the harmony is going and then the drums is keeping the, the vibes going. Uh, but it gives me space in my vocal to then pull it out and then bring everything back in in the chorus and it sounds very cool. Um, it's kind of just think of how a producer would do it in, in the studio. So that's all I'm doing when I'm when I'm looping. So basically exactly what you did in the previous videos where we were doing um, multi-layered looping you're just splitting those layers across different tracks. So instead of stacking everything on one track, we're spreading it out around multiple tracks so that we can eliminate things and bring them in when we want them to. So let's go back to Shape of You and I'll, I'll loop it how I do it. So I'm gonna get my guitar track out. My guitar track's not even on. Stupid Lua, classic. This is why you know I'm not that smart. track I get my beat tracking and 
and I get my face. And then if I, I want to add some vocals, I do the. got all my layers done right now if you were on it different loopers have different setups so i'm going to go back to this one yeah i'm not going to go into the the like the important stuff of each looper but understand that you can separate them and turn off each track the way that you want to do it now the really beauty of the the looper x that i love is instead of me having to stop each track individually i can go like this and i'm actually doing a, a mute thing so if it's green, it's good. If it's not green, it's off. And so if I go like this, take these, oh, sorry, take these two off. I just got drums and, and, and bass. Now I add my guitar. Add my vocal. So that's, I have a lot of, I have a lot of flexibility in what I want to do. I can do whatever I want. So this is while it's playing, and then I can also turn off things. So I'll be like, come on, baby, baby, come on, yeah. I'm in love with the sheep of you. We push and pull like a man they do, yeah. And then my heart is falling too. So you can see how I just created like a crescendo in it by just like pushing play, and then I slowly brought these things in. That's really, really cool with the Looper X, and I, I like that with the Looper X. But Essentially, all we're doing with multi-tracking is we're just taking the concept of the multi-layering that we already did, and we're just like spreading it across multiple tracks. Now, this is going to allow me to be very clever. So, for instance, first verse, the club is in the best place to find the lover, so the bar is where I go. And then we could, of course, I'm in love with the sheep of you, yeah. Push and pull like a man to do. I don't want to add that vocal to the second half of the chorus. And then, in love with my body, I'm in love with your body. So that's, I've got that going. Now, because I've already hit this huge crescendo, of, I've hit this huge vibe of like, we're at like 90%, nearly 100%. And I'm like, well, I need to re-bring re us down. I need to create some tension resolution, some movement in the uh, in the dynamics. Instead of me going, I'm in love with the shape of you, in love with your body. One weekend, we'll let the story begin. We're going out on our first day. You see how I've already prayed. And then I get through the song, and then when I'm about to get to chorus, I'm in love with the sheep of you, yeah. Push and pull like a man in two. Oh, my heart is falling too. I'm in love with your body. So you can see how I'm using the tracks to build isolation and give myself flexibility of taking away the guitar and just having the bass and drums and then bringing the guitar back in and then bringing the vocals back in. And so the whatever arrangement of the multi-layer, like of the multi-tracked loop that you wanna build, you can build. If the song feels like you just need to have the bass and the drums going, you do that. Uh, typically, I like to pair the drums and the bass together because when I split things, I just wanna have bass and drums. That's just me. If I wanna, typically I gear everything towards my guitar playing and so I can do lots of improvising. So if I can do lots of improvising, then that means I'm gonna build a solo. I'll be like. You know, I do my sixth solo. Insert crazy solo here, woo! That impresses Ed Sheeran and John Mayer, woo! And then I wanna bring a crescendo up. brings the vibe up in my solo. And then the other coolest thing about this one is where I can do this. Uh. On, off. On, on, off. Uh, 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 uh. 
I'm still getting better at that. But one day I'll be very, very good at it. Because I, I get into like this this groove of like a bum, 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 bum. Anyway, it is what it is. But essentially that's all we're doing with multi-layered stuff. So just take whatever I did with uh, Ed Sheeran's Shape of You in the previous thing, just jump back in and be like, all right, how can I spread these multi, like this multi-layer thing I've done, how do I spread it over multiple tracks? And so whatever you built vertically, spread horizontally. That's all we're doing here. And so hopefully that is enough of fun information for you guys that are getting into it. Um, the next parts of the course are going to be uh, like optimizing uh, how to use the different pedals. And so the, the three pedals that I'm gonna go into is gonna be the RC30, uh, the RC300, and then the Looper X. Um, outside of that, I don't have experience. I don't know how they work. I haven't tested them. Uh, I don't have first hand. I am not the guy who's gonna be technical about like Boss 600, don't ask me. Um, <laughs> if you want my opinion, you just buy the Looper X. It's 100% the best one you can buy currently. There's just nothing that competes with this. Uh, on price and on what it has available to you and on workflow. Like you guys can go in and about the HUD head rush, everyone likes the head rush, but you get used to this, you get used to the workflow of Ed Sheeran's Looper X and how big these buttons are. They're so good. Instead of tapping on like little things here, these, you, you know when you're tapping here, you, you know it, you feel it. And they just feel so, just so clean, very good. All right. Well, hopefully that helps, and uh, give me feedback in the in the uh, in the school community, and hopefully we just keep we want, keep on winning and keep growing and uh, keep putting content out there. But uh, yeah, once I finish those ones, uh, I'll give you some like tutorials on on songs that I do. So let's go, and I'll catch you guys in the next uh, videos. Woo